Let's pretend it's the end of this whole ugly story We vanquished the foe and we triumphed in glory There's nothing but rainbows and blue skies ahead Hallelujah, amen, it's the end Hello everybody, this is Gregory Avery Weir with a little programming note. We were expecting to put up an episode discussing Star Trek First Contact today, but there's been a change of plans, and at the moment as I'm recording this, Melissa and Lucy are out of town at a conference. They'll be back by the time this airs, but I'm currently the only one here at home to tell you what's going on. So once we had the first episode recorded and edited, the Screen Actors Guild... SAG-AFTRA, clarified their positions on promotion of struck work. So if you're not following the news right now, there's a big uh, writers and actors strike in Hollywood. They're striking for various things that are very well deserved and we very much support the strikes. Part of their guidelines are if you're a podcaster who's doing like rewatch stuff, promotional stuff, the sort of thing we're doing of struck work, that they would prefer you not do that promotion during the strike. And uh, Star Trek is 100% <laughs> covered by all this. Uh, all Most Star Trek properties, maybe all Star Trek properties, are maybe both SAG and WGA. And in their guidelines, they specifically talk about how this current strike is in part about making sure that writers and actors get paid for their work on streaming platforms. Uh, the The rules, the contracts regarding how much compensation and and what rights the creators have on streaming is very different than what it is for broadcast or for for theatrical films and it's really shitty for the writers and actors uh and so we very much believe in uh supporting them and not promoting this stuff until they reach a better contract so if we're not going to talk about anything Star Trek on our Star Trek podcast, what are we going to do? So we are going to discuss another work that I think ties into our utopian concepts at Before the Future Came. So for September 5th, this is will be our, our September episode, and we'll premiere with a discussion of the novella Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. Uh, it's a real short book. Um, it's about 100 pages, um, and it's about a young woman from the Himba people from southwestern Africa who uh, gets into some trouble on a passenger ship on the way to an intergalactic university. It's uh, very much interfacing with ideas of what does it mean to be from a culture on Earth? Uh, what does it mean to join the galactic community? What are the problems that can still exist in a theoretically utopian future. Uh, It should be really cool, and it should be relevant to the project we're doing here on the show. So, uh, you don't have to read the book beforehand, but if you want to, uh, you can get either the novella Binti or the omnibus Binti the Complete Trilogy at various places wherever you want to get books. Um, There are two sequels called Binti Home and Binti the Night Masquerade. Those are included in the trilogy. They're not what we're reading, at least for this first episode, so don't accidentally get one of those instead of the original, which is just called Binti, or you can get the trilogy, which has them all. So we'll be doing that for September. Uh, We'll see how things go. Uh, This strike could be continuing for months, so we may end up reading more books or or something like that, or it may be that our uh, October episode will be our previously scheduled First Contact episode. So hang on for another month while we kind of change gears in the in the face of this to show solidarity to the writers and actors and uh we look forward to all three of us talking to you in about a month about binti by nedi okorafor i'll talk to you then our music is let's pretend by josh woodward available under a creative commons attribution 4.0 license you can get in touch with us at before the future dot space or by writing on screen at beforethefuture.space. I'm sure we'll all live happily ever after Surrounded by butterflies, children, and laughter It's a fairy tale story, so let's just pretend Hallelujah, amen, it's the end Happily ever after